I don't need to be talking low, but I'm in my car, but it's still, it's still early, so it's not daytime voice yet. It is 6.49. I'm getting prepared for my training session that starts at 8. Yeah, I'm leaving a whole hour and 10 minutes early because you guys know I like to eat before I work out. Just so I have something in my system and I don't feel lightheaded or anything like that either. By the way, I'm also anemic. So I like to, uh, you know, get my iron and I have to take that with food. I'm going to go to Starbucks and get my coffee. My coffee and my little uh, breakfast. Hold, I think I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Call her daddy. I have a boyfriend. Who is this? There are a lot of okay. fucking negatives when it comes to having to quarantine and to stay at home. But do you know one thing that really, honestly, is the best part of staying at home? It's fucking playing at home you know the motherfucking drill daddies i've told you once okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna test the podcast called call her daddy it sounds a little intense but we need a wake-up call so we're gonna try it out i'm at starbucks i'm getting my typical coffee that i get iced coffee but i ordered a bacon egg and gouda sandwich today so i'm gonna have that for breakfast park eat then drive get my phone together do you guys have the starbucks app it's a must if you like starbucks okay. thank you thank you so much yes please thank you so much you too you have a great one we're back on the road again i'm so tired today you guys i'm just tired your girl is tired by the way i just realized and forgot that i didn't keep you guys updated i tested negative for covid so that is a blessing coffee it smells a little burnt i mean smells it tastes a little burnt no see this is why i always ask i didn't ask for it today but i have one here gonna put a little bit not the whole thing just half girl oh it doesn't mm -mm. not my favorite okay i'm gonna eat i should probably take off like the top layer just like that but i'm not <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. That's right, we're gonna feel, we're gonna be in all the feels today. So, I'm kind of just sitting by the window right now in my bed. I am about to meditate. It is Sunday. Today, I think, is uh, 7th of February. And yeah, I'm gonna meditate try to get this quick meditation in i'm actually going to log into my peloton app i'm going to do like a five or a ten minute meditation because if you can hear the background the kids are screaming let's do mindfulness okay and i'm gonna do a five minute body scan on my peloton app i think i'm gonna do that class right there and then after i'm actually going to pull some oracle cards if you guys want to watch feel free if you guys like this also let me know i'll kind of um <clears throat> intuitively give you the message that i get from this so let's get started you can rest your hands and close your eyes closing your eyes doesn't feel <clears throat> right for you in this moment you can softly look down towards the tip of your nose and then let go of whatever came before this and whatever is coming after this and let yourself have this five minutes. Hey guys, um, it's about almost six o'clock. I am going to, I didn't get to do this earlier, but I am going to 
use this oracle deck this is the wisdom of the oracle it's one of my favorite decks i'm just going to pull some cards myself and what i like to do is kind of ask my guides for a focus of intention what should i be focusing on for the week any messages that they want to give me connect with my higher self so i'm just going to shuffle some cards i was going to do this earlier but my friend came over so i didn't get the chance to so just gonna go ahead and shuffle. Try to do them this way. All right, guides and spirit, what messages do you have for me? And any messages that you may want to share with the collective today for the week ahead of us? And we just thank you so much, guardian angels. We thank you, archangels. We thank you, ascended masters, to just provide the message that you will be giving us today we appreciate you guys so much but focus on intention Ooh. oh so true what i'm going through right now all right guys what we'll focus of intention do you have for us this week what would you like my focus to be the collective focus to be What are tools to prepare us for the week ahead? Okay, so we have fork in the road, which I feel like myself exactly, that's kind of where I feel like I'm at. We have coming to the edge, it's a beautiful card. Community. Wow, this has kind of showed up, I think, a couple of times this week. What I like to do when I am looking at cards is I kind of like to see a color pattern here and connect it with possibly chakras that are either um, needing work on, attention to, or it might even be <laughs> like, wow, these chakras are like super vibrant and you're doing so great and gracefully there. With the fork on the road, this basically just means that you are at the fork of the road as you can see here signifying that you have two different paths to choose from and that you're kind of in this reflection phase and figuring out what's serving your greatest and highest good um, you don't have to follow the path that everybody else is on this is a path that is solely good for you that is going to make you whole and all of the things my guides and your guides are basically you know saying hey it's time to really reevaluate some things here and you have two different paths so just write out some pros and cons and um you know think about where where you want to go second card here is coming to the edge and these are hearts right here they're hearts i personally feel here this is a card that is basically saying take take a leap of faith really trust the process surrender to the process and just go with the flow of things because you may not see it by sight does not mean that things are not going to work out for you. There is community. Well, this is such a beautiful card, first of all. That's number one. Like, look at these cards. It's so beautiful. I think that this is a time um, for myself and even others to kind of lean on in your collective community, your best friends, your family, people that you really depend and rely on. Um, they're there for you. They have your back. Also, this is having to do with your guides. Like, your guides are there for you. They're guiding you. They're protecting you. They love you. They want to be there for your greatest and highest goods. And that's kind of how I see like the birds maybe like mentorship is something there too i see a lot of blue in these cards as well so that might be which i already kind of know but some people may be kind of having a little bit of a blockage or need some kind of tender loving care into their throat chakra and that's just basically signifying speaking your truth being your authentic self feeling suppressed in the things that you want to verbalize, not having clear communication, even creativity blocks. That is what the throat chakra signifies with blockages. So just make sure that you are overly communicating, reading basically the fine print, making sure that you're not reactive and listening to what others are telling you before you react and say what you wanna say, think about it twice. And then the last card here is time to let go this signifies so many things for me in my life right now that i'm currently going through but this is also a beautiful card because this is confirmation for me to be honest it's just 
it's like look at there's a store right here it's like girl we have a door ready and waiting for you it's just time to let go like take 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 that leap of faith okay don't look back it's time to let go even with this card that's coming to the edge like she's not looking bad she's kind of just like you know what i'm throwing my heart in it i'm throwing my faith in it that is what i am um, intuitively resonating with this card uh, that is my little mini reading for you guys if this resonates with you guys or you guys like this type of stuff please feel free oh my god my, my arms look so hairy <laughs> please feel free to comment below and let me know i know that not everyone is comfortable with this and that's totally okay it may not be your cup of tea that's fine but yeah i definitely needed this i feel like i'm for sure at the fork of the road <laughs> okay so that was my little mini reading i hope you guys enjoyed that we're in the period of retrograde right now so communication is definitely key uh, there is going to be a lot of conflict with that so make sure that you are double checking your emails before they, you sent them your messages before you sent them make sure that you're clearly communicating Be careful with language so take time to carefully explain your intentions what you're trying to communicate double check your texts and emails what i just told you back up your phone and computer so if you haven't if you're having connectivity issues even wi-fi issues which oh my god i've been having that just restart reboot back it up Make sure that you're not losing any data. Expect cancellation and delays. So if you're traveling, that's a possibility for you. Reconnect with old friends, not your ex, okay? So maybe rekindle some old friendships or just stay in touch with old friends and lean on your emotions and sensitivity. Be conscious of the transcendency to rationalize your feelings. So just be aware of your feelings. You're allowed to feel them, but think about why you're feeling them. What are your triggers? This is a time to kind of reevaluate those things yeah i'm going to start to edit this vlog this week has kind of been all over the place it's been a shit show to be honest so sorry if my vibes are <laughs> not the best i love you guys so much you guys are the ultimate mvps of life thank you so much for supporting and taking the time to watch this video please comment down below let me know what you guys want to see your thoughts what hit home for you like i don't know just keep me updated what's going on with you guys other than that i will see you guys in the next one you guys yes i look busted but that's okay i thought about the funniest thing to do right now well, for me it's super funny i'm going to do the calling people and telling them that you're busy like you're calling them but you're like pretending that they're calling you if you guys have seen that on tiktok so i'm going to try it out and see how that works this is all working camera's on mic is on so let me try <laughs> i'm gonna try to screen record too so can i call you back i'm busy <laughs> i'm busy i gotta call you back <laughs> okay i gotta go i gotta call you back Dude, my acting skills are so bad. I'm like the worst liar of life. My acting skills are so bad. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get this out of my system. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try my cousin. I'm busy. Can I call you back? I got to call you back, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> I couldn't even hear that. <laughs> Luna's killing it in the background. I suck at this, by the way. Hello? Hey, I'm busy. Can I call you back? <laughs> Shut up. Why are you calling me, stupid? I gotta go. Can I call you back? I'll call you back. Bye. Goodbye. Hi, Tima. <laughs> I suck at this so bad. This is such a bad fail. Luna, Careful. Oh. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's call. Let's see who we want to call. Um, baby shark. Oh my god, let's see if my friend answers. Okay, hold on. Hi, 
Okay, I'm, I'm busy. Can I call you back? Yeah, whatever. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello? Hey, I'm busy. Can I call you back? so funny this is so good that was my last suspect i feel like i can attempt to call other people but i just don't know it's too much i did a few i hope you guys liked it i thought that was hilarious i'm the worst actor like if it's something funny i can't anyways <laughs> i will talk to you guys later come on, come on. Let's walk. okay let go i follow you come on let's go this way this way, look, come here, baby. This way, come here. Okay, we're going this way. Let's go back. Good job. Happy. Happy, good. <laughs> Am I watching you, baby? Yay. Curse. This is a wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful? Yes, do. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Where are you going? You're good going. job, my amor. You're doing so good. Hi. Hi. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yes, you do this. You got this. Good job. See, see, see. Oh, so happy. So happy, good. Fun. Fun. Eat it. Is it good? Try it. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs>